Okay. All right. It's been a little while since we've done this. All right. Who can tell me what day it is today? Uh, Sophia, I heard you. Do you want to tell me it's Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday today. It's Tuesday. Travis, what month is it? Is it October? No. No. Is it November? Turkey? November. Yep, it's November. Is it December yet? Not yet. All right. What date is it today? So yesterday we saw each other on the 9th, Monday the 9th. Today's the 10th. 10th. Okay, I'm going to pause recording. Okay, today is the 10th. Oh, we need to know. Oh, wait, I should have gone back. Since it's the 10th, let's check our day in history stuff. I'm going to try to keep that going at least this month. So we have today's the 10th. All right. Ooh, 1938, God Bless America is sung for the first time on live radio. Man. Wow. Yeah. Um, 1969, the Sesame Street TV show is broadcast yeah. for the first time. Still going. I it's know. Won going several, strong. Several Emmys uh, yes. for... <laughs> Best kids show. I mean, it, it's it is it's good. I mean, there's yeah. no doubt. No, for sure. Bert and Ernie don't age. Let me tell you, I don't know yeah. what those guys are eating. Like, <laughs> Botox, yeah. baby. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, you guys, this is the technology part. On in 1951, direct dial coast to coast phone service begins in the United States. That's crazy. Um, any birthdays? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Brittany Murphy's not alive anymore. Yeah. Uh, Tracy Miranda Morgan. Miranda Lambert. I like Miranda Lambert. Same way other country fans. Oh, love her. Love oh, her. Yeah. Yeah. Miranda Lambert's good. Tracy Morgan's funny. Um, yeah. Martin Luther. That's like some serious history Perfect. lesson. Here. Um, he was the guy who originally translated the Bible from uh, Latin to German to oh. make people they could understand it. Interesting. Yeah, not Martin Luther King. I, I, right. I, I believe you're right. Did you Google that? No, I, I did a research project on Martin Luther in my uh, eighth grade year, I believe. Well, hey. Ah. It's or no, my freshman year. We did a historical investigation my freshman year, and I... I uh, Took forever to choose, so I was assigned one by the teacher. <laughs> That's what I got. <laughs> Very good. I stopped. I guess I remembered something. Right. Yep. <laughs> Keep it going. Okay. Oh, sees candy. It just makes me want to buy candy every time. Okay. November. Close your eyes. Sorry. I'm moving it very quickly here. Okay. Well, Sesame Street Day, appropriately because it was started on this day. Uh, National Vanilla Cupcakes. Mm. That sounds like good. If you didn't have any plans for life skills today, make some cupcakes at home, perhaps. Yum. Anybody know any Marines? Yeah, that's a good point. Does anybody have Marines in their family? No, uh, my dad. Oh. Very good. Sophia's dad was in the Marines. Oh, oh cool. You I know, I that. feel like I might have known that. Uh -huh. Maybe that was told to me at some point. Yeah, it could be. Hmm. I have to tell my parents this, National Accounting Day. They both majored in accounting. Ah. I know. I can't do the crunching numbers thing. They can. Oh. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> like, no, thank you. Yeah. 
But hey, practice your counting today for. Okay, let's see what food holiday is today. Oh, yeah, vanilla cupcake day. There's nothing else. Make some cupcakes. All right. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to let me scoot this up a little more again. So we need to figure, find out what the weather is going to be today. And then travel, we're going to dress you for the weather. Here we go. I've uh, yeah. been interested in that breed too. So if I get a dog, I'll consider, I think, a German Shepherd. So. Will Jack get along with the German Shepherd? We don't know. So. <laughs> <laughs> Likely not. We'll My cat. Yeah. Find out. Yeah. Not yeah. happy about that. <laughs> yeah, let's talk weather right now. Uh, what's happening out there, Kelly? Yeah, a little bit of wet weather to talk about as we head into today. So we're back into that rainy uh, trend here. We'll keep rain showers in place as we work our way through the afternoon. Those rain showers do taper off by Wednesday and uh, through the middle of the week. Much of Thursday also stays dry, but back in some wet weather for today. We'll keep those scattered rain showers going throughout our afternoon and evening. So grab the rain gear for today if you'll be outside or uh, working uh, from the office and heading to your car at times today. Also watching that snow up towards Mount Hood. It continues to fall and we'll continue to see some impacts over the mountain passes if you've got plans to head over the mountains today uh, and through the middle of the week. So right now we're looking at that rain out towards Ridgefield. This is our A and A camera view here. You can see the I-5 commute is very wet out there. The good news is this morning is starting out not as chilly. We saw the mid-20 for many spots yesterday, near freezing for a lot of areas too around the valley. Uh, right now we are sitting at about 10 to 15 degrees warmer. So we are in the low 40s and it's noticeably warmer and more mild out this morning time. We'll stay in the mid-40s as we head our way into our morning, but those scattered showers will be off and on all day today. And some of those showers could even uh, be a bit heavy. There is a chance for an isolated or scattered thunderstorm, mainly out from the coast today. Uh, so we'll track any activity that we see here on our radar. Again, heavy pockets of rain also possible through Portland. So here's our rainfall future cast. This model continues with that unsettled weather. Scattered showers through the afternoon today as snow continues to fall out towards the Cascades. We taper off those showers overnight into Wednesday, but a chance we still see a lingering uh, scattered shower here across the valley and out towards the coast. I think we'll see a mainly dry day tomorrow, though, for Veterans Day. Come Thursday, too, we'll start out mainly dry, but we'll introduce our second system of the week. It's a fairly large one that'll increase winds from the south, so a bit of a breezy finish to our Thursday. We'll see soggy conditions setting up here for the coast and in the valley, and more snowfall taking aim towards the Cascades. I love to see that, though. It's great that we are building our base here so early in November. Uh, if we keep this up, like the chance we'll see some of those ski resorts opening by the time we hit Thanksgiving, which is always the goal. Uh, Here's a look at Friday. This is a weather system that we'll be watching very closely. It's a very deep low that is starting to develop here. A strong center of low pressure, which could bring some damaging winds and possibly even a windstorm to our region on Friday. Big impacts will be out for the coast here where we could see some gusts well above 60 miles per hour. So still too early to make that call, but we all have our eyes on this weather system that could be developing here uh, come Friday evening. And we'll even see some breezy impacts in Portland too. And all of that paired with some very soggy conditions conditions with a lot of rain within the system too and take a look a lot of snow expected also for the Cascades and even the east sides. Uh, so we'll have our eyes on the end of the week. Again, it is a little early to make any calls, uh, but we'll be tracking that system and likely by Wednesday and Thursday, we'll have a better idea of what we may see on Friday. Wind gusts today, though, could be a bit breezy. We'll see some gusts around 30 miles per hour from the uh, west here for the coast. And uh, through the afternoon, maybe some breezy conditions around 15 miles per hour. Winds do die down by Wednesday and Thursday. And here's that look up towards our mountain passes. We could stack up another half a foot of snow or government camp today. So travel impacts will be up there. Will be a tough drive over the passes. Make sure to check those conditions before you go and prep to see snow on the roadways up there. Again, today back in the low 50s, rain showers through the afternoon. A quick look at our seven day forecast. A brief dry break by the middle of the week, low 50s. Chance for an afternoon uh, rain shower tomorrow, but we'll be watching Friday for some rainy and possibly windy conditions across our region. Carly, mm -hmm. we start with a crash in Oregon City. This is on. Well, rainy today. 99 Sorry. Come on, Jen. Okay. Let me 
this up, move this down. Um, okay, close. Mm -hmm. All right. What's the weather going to be, Travis? What's the weather? Hey, what's the weather? Sunny or rainy? Sunny or rainy? Cloudy. Um, cloudy. Cloudy. Okay. Cloudy. We may get some rain later. Or you? I'm not there. <laughs> All right. What's it like outside? Is it cold? Cool? Is it cold or cool? What do you? Cool. Cool. Good job. Cool. cool. All right, mister. You ready? Bottoms. What you wearing today? Wearing. Are you wearing sweatpants? Fit. Say sweatpants. Can you say it? T-shirt? No, your pants. Pants. Yeah, sweatpants. Yeah. Sweatpants. Um, as we've said, this is the uniform of online learning, sweatpants. <laughs> Tops. Oh, I've got them on too. Yep. <laughs> Travis, are you wearing a t-shirt? Yes. Are you wearing a t-shirt? Yeah. <laughs> Always. You've got mm -hmm. some cool t-shirts. T-shirt. Travis, what color is this? Oh, what color is this? What color? Or the orange? Mm -hmm. What color? What color is the shirt? Mm -hmm. Orange? Say it. Mm -hmm. Orange? <laughs> Good job. Mm -hmm. Orange. Shoes. If you were going to go outside, what might you wear? Say boots. <laughs> boots. Rain boots or snow? Which one, Jazz? Rain or snow? Mm -hmm. Rain boots or snow boots? <laughs> yellow or gray? No, yellow or gray? Which one? Which one? Mm -hmm. Yellow? Say it. Yellow. Yellow. Great Rain job. Boots. Pretty cool. Yes. Travis, do you want to wear a hat? Do you wear a hat? Mommy. You don't have to. You can say no hat. You can say no. No. Say it. Yeah, good job, Haley. <laughs> yeah, I am, 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 No hat. Nope. I would wear a hood. Accessories. All right, Travis, if you go outside, do you need anything to stay warm? Or sunglasses. You don't have to. It's not winter, winter yet, but we're getting there. I did. <laughs> I wore a scarf yesterday. Oh, yeah. Travis, do you want any gloves or mittens or sunglasses or no? Do you want glasses and mittens or no? Which one? Yeah, trust. Do you want to wear it? Mm -hmm. You do? Which one? Mittens? <laughs> or cool sunglasses. Or glasses. Which one? And what glasses? Okay, say it. Glasses. Say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sunglasses. They look like your glasses. You can still see your eyes. Like me too. All right, it's cold out there. What kind of jacket do you want to wear? How a jacket? Sweatshirt or jacket or raincoat? 
When you say raincoat, say raincoat. Can you say it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get his device going too so he can yeah. verify his speech too. Raincoat. Do you like the raincoat to match your boots or do you like the jacket? jacket? Travis. Okay, look. Jacket or raincoat? raincoat? Which one? Mm -hmm. Oh, he said yellow. Yellow. <laughs> yellow. Good job, dude. All right. Yellow, yellow. He's got a match, you know. There you are, Travis. You're ready for the cloudy and cool weather. Today, Tuesday, November 10th, 2020. Thanks for your help. Good job. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are we ready for a little dose of CNN 10? All right. Which uh, staff member or specialist would like to read this today? Uh, I, I'll do it. All right, go for it, Dan, thanks. All right, a drug company called Pfizer made an announcement about a vaccine on November 9th. A vaccine is a kind of medicine that prevents people from getting a disease. This vaccine is being made to prevent COVID-19, which is caused by the coronavirus. Pfizer says their vaccine works. They say it may be 90% effective. They say the vaccine should help many people stay healthy. Many people around the world are getting sick with COVID-19. Vaccines can prevent more people from getting sick. Pfizer will continue to test the vaccine. Some people may be able to get the vaccine by the end of 2020. And yeah, what I had read is that they did some large scale trials. Um, and uh, yeah, it was, uh, and you know, then there's some people that are saying like, this seems to be like politically timed or whatever. And mm. Pfizer, you know, came out and said like, hey, we work independently. We're, you know, we're our own thing. And Pfizer's always kind of just done what they do. Um, they're like, we're not getting paid off by anybody. There's no, no motive, money motivation here. Right, you know? or political motivation, yeah. Yeah. Well, good. Vaccine uh, drug company, A drug company made an announcement about a vaccine. A vaccine is a kind of medicine. The drug company is making this vaccine to prevent COVID-19. The drug company says their vaccine works. They say the vaccine should help people stay healthy. COVID-19 is a disease caused by the coronavirus. Many people around the world are getting sick. Vaccines can prevent people from getting sick. The drug company will keep testing the vaccine. People may be able to get the vaccine at the end of 2020. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. Guys, look, we have three what questions today. <laughs> what is a vaccine? Is it a game? Game. Uh, nope. It is not a game. Is a vaccine food? No. <laughs> Is it medicine? Yeah. Medicine. It's mm -hmm. medicine. What kind of company made an announcement about a vaccine? Was it a record company making music? No. Record. Is it a technology company? Computers, iPads, phones? Technology. No, it's a drug company. Drug. Guys, what is COVID-19? Is it a company? Company. A vaccine? Vaccine. No, it's a disease. That's why we have to be at home right now. Disease. All right. 
Well, progress on that front. Okay, tomorrow is a holiday. Let me scroll down here. So we had daylight savings time, we had Day of the Dead, we had, we just talked about yesterday that November is Native American Heritage Month. And during CNN 10, we talked about tribes doing controlled burns. We had election day and now Veterans Day. All right, would a staff member like to read this? I will if no one else will. All right. Um, I'd be happy to. I love Veterans Day. Yes. So this is Veterans Day Remembrance Day, November 11th. November 11th is a special day in many countries. It is Veterans Day in the United States, but is, it is called Remembrance Day in some other countries. A veteran is a man or woman who has served in the military. November 11th is the date that a big war, World War I, ended in 1918. Later, countries chose that day to honor and thank veterans for their military service. Veterans Day became a U.S. holiday in 1954. Many cities have Veterans Day parades each year and ask military men and women to walk in the parade. Very cool. So November 11th is a special day in many countries. The day is Veterans Day in the United States. The day is Remembrance Day in other countries. Countries honor their veterans on this day. Veterans are military men and women. World War I ended on November 11th in 1918. Countries started remembering the day each year. November 11th became a U.S. holiday in 1954. Some places have parades on November 11th. Military men and women walk in the parades. I'm going to go to one. Ah, that's exciting. 